can't wait to try out Midnight Bike. Welcome back, boys and girls, to another Let's Try Out video. Today, we're going to be trying out Midnight Bike. I'm Proto Dead, and a Let's Try Out video is kind of a first impressions, kind of a tutorial you learn as I learn as we play the game, and a little bit of a review, and I'll uh, tell you what I think about the game, if it's worth it. At the end of the day, most of these games I play are on Steam. I don't deviate very much from that, but occasionally I do. And uh, we'll compare the price, uh, the selling price, and what the words of the developers say at the end of the video. See if the developers are feeding us a line of shit, or uh, if uh, if they're spot on and truthful with their, their advertisement. So let's jump right into this midnight bike. And uh, I'm going to be up front. This video is going to be pretty fucking short because there's not much to this game at all. Uh, I got it on sale for, I think, 13 cents? Uh... Oh my god. So, the first thing I'm going to warn you about is uh, the only sound effects in this game are the music. And you're going to have to turn your headphones down or your speakers down because uh, the developer of this game thinks that the music needs to be um, uh, turned up to 11. So, we're playing the game now and there is only two keys and it is left and right that's a and d on the keyboard so we are on a highway like a matrix highway that just goes on forever and then there's nothing in the sides and nothing in the foreground or at least it's so dark you can't see and yes i'm playing the game right now you have a high score up at the very top uh basically you play a semblance uh, of what is a motorbike, probably a crotch rocket. Uh, you have one single headlight in the front, and that gives you... Oh, shit! Okay, so I died. And uh, I got uh, 34th place on that one. No, this was... That wasn't... This was my last rank. This was my current score. So the last time I played this game, whenever I was testing it out, to make sure that... Uh, to make sure that uh, this game was actually <laughs> worth... I could do a video about. Uh, I got to 34th place with 12 over 12,000 points. So uh, let's see if I can beat my record. Um, so basically, yeah, you're on a highway at nighttime, and there's a fuckload of cars that don't like to go as fast as you like to go. So you're trying to go at uh, like 120 miles an hour, and all these vehicles are trying to obey the speed limit on highway. We'll call it Highway 66 today, and. Uh, we're just going to weave in and out because we have a death wish. I mean, we're on a crotch rocket and fuck, man, we just want to eat some bumper. We want to fuck somebody's day up and die. Um, that's what this game's all about, man. And uh, so far as I can tell, the, the cars do not change lanes. So there's that. Uh, I think uh, if the developer wanted to add maybe a little bit more complexity to the scenario, then he would start like changing it up. Like maybe give the draw distance, like draw, draw it out just a little bit further and let us see a little bit further down the road and uh, and then maybe have the cars, fuck! I didn't do it, I only got the 5,000. So yeah, it took me it took me quite a bit of practice to get the 12,000, but this is the game. This is the whole thing. The music isn't too bad. I mean, it's serviceable. I don't, I don't recognize that the music sucks balls or anything. I mean, it's pretty cool for what it is. The gameplay is quick and snappy and responsive, and there's just this, oh shit. And there's just this little bit of this feeling that the bike is leaning when you, when you zip in and out, okay? And uh, I think that effect is great. I think this game... <laughs> is is obviously fairly simple right there's nothing to it there's no progression other than a score there's no difference the cars are randomized there's only like six or seven or, or maybe ten different oh shit ten different models of car um yeah this is like maybe a student's project or something like that and hey if it is cheers to them good job you made you, I, you made me a purchaser. I bought the game to try it out. So, uh, one tip I can give folks that want to try to get a high score in this game is when you are even with a car, like if you want to cut like right in front of it, see how quick. Oh shit! I did it too fast. But you can you can switch lanes like 
right next to the car. Like that. Like when you're right next to it, you can you can almost like, oh shit, I hit that car. But you can get really close to the front end of the of the car you're trying to pass. So that way you get just a little bit lead time in the in the car that you're trying to dodge ahead of time. Yeah, but anywho, um, man, there's a lot of different ways that they can make this game just a little bit more appealing. I think sound effects would be one way that, uh, like screeching tires and shit, and maybe honking horns. That that could be cool. Uh, screeching tires of the motorcycle. Every time you like switch, that could get annoying though. Um, I don't know. Maybe they could make it more musical. Like every time you make a movement, it's like a beat in one of the beat games like we've seen uh, where every movement you make makes kind of a musical sound like they could do that and maybe every time you pass a car there's like a whoosh sound like maybe Doppler effect or something uh, maybe a sunset in the background instead of it just being a perpetual night and you can't see the see the the, the horizon and maybe trees and shit to give you a feeling of more movement and speed instead of it just being a flat plane that kind of curves off into the horizon like maybe a bunch of shrubs and fucking trees whizzing by you at a million miles an hour that could be cool but then again like I said it may not be what the developer was going for this may be 100% what they were reaching for and and maybe they were uh, we'll just read the words of the developer and find out but uh, this is the game this is it this is Midnight Bike uh, so yeah <laughs> if you liked the video, give me a give me a like. If you fucking hated <laughs> if you hated my presentation today, fucking give me a big fat thumbs down. Leave a comment down below. Share my video if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. Subscribe for future content. Uh, I've been Proto Dead, and let's move on to the words of the developer and see if they're feeding us a line of bullshit. So as always, I'll play the trailer and the advertisements that they got in the background as I read the words. Race. Midnight Bike. Race one of the fastest motorbikes at breakneck speed down a busy highway in first person. Weave your way through traffic as you climb the global leaderboard. So far, there's only nine user reviews. This game was released in September 2020. Developed by Vroom Vroom and published by Beep Beep. This seems like a fucking joke. The popular user-defined tags is Casual Racing Arcade 3D First Person. It's currently sitting at 99 cents on Steam. I think it's probably, if you got a dollar and you just want something that maybe you can throw your younger sibling on or maybe you, you're you know, babysitting your nephews or you got some kids of your own or something. This is, it's not gory. It has no cuss words. It has no sexual connotations anywhere. It has no racy subject matter. It's all, it's just a, it's just a very simple, uh, racing deal. And, uh, Hey, they might could get to level, they could, might, might could beat me. They get to, to level 33 or something and, uh, you know, blow me off the leaderboard. But, uh, yeah, it's it's not bad for what it is. Uh, 99 cents. I think I got it for like 49 cents or maybe it was like 29 cents or something on sale. Uh, it takes up one gigabyte of space. Some of the features about the game is the bike drives at constant speed, allowing you to focus on switching lanes exclusively. All with just the press of a button. Sit back, relax, and enjoy a simple gameplay and some trippy music after a long day. How far can you go? The features are uh, retro cyberpunk music, simple controls and gameplay, and a global leaderboard. Press any key to switch lanes. Any key to switch lanes? Uh, N is next music track, and L is loop the music track. So, uh, yeah, man, this, is, this has been Midnight Bike. Tell me what you think about the game. Tell me what you think about my presentation. Uh, I've been Proto Dead. I'll catch you on the flip-flop.